Meet Zandra Rhodes, known to the international fashion scene as a high-end designer for the rich and famous. Rhodes has designed for clients as diverse as Princess Diana, Jackie Onassis, and even Freddie Mercury of the rock group Queen. Her unique use of bold prints, fiercely feminine patterns, and theatrical use of color gives each Rhodes creation a timeless quality. Her designs will be featured in Seattle Opera's upcoming production of The Magic Flute. The world of costume design is like being able to be a fairy with a magic wand. So if you design a gorgeous crinoline, you don't have to worry if the woman's going to be able to buy it or how it's going to look on a hanger. You just have to make sure that when it's on the stage, it can look absolutely wonderful. And all these people behind me are magicians to make it look wonderful. So for example, with the Birdman, he, he has magical feathers on his tail, but the director wants him to fall around over the stage, so we have to make artificial feathers out of making all the fabric and fringing it all, and then using stiff weed whacker, so even if he falls over, the costume doesn't die. It's been built like a suit of armor, so that the singer just has to go out there and project to the audience. I tried to learn what each character was about, like the Queen of the Night was supposedly evil so she could be represented by the night and the moon and her helpers would have their hair like the stages of the moon and they've got snakes around their bodices. And then you've got all the people who are good are like the sun. So here you have Sarastro, and he has, of course, a, a rather punk hairdo. You can do anything in opera, you see. The hairdo all sticks up all wonderfully. And um, so, first of all, it was a job of doing color. Then there are magical animals. So there's like fluorescent monkeys and a, a beautiful turquoise crocodile. And then there's a Chinese dragon. We're just fitting sort of a taster of each of the chorus so that, and everyone's just getting on with all the different details of either, and then in between getting ready to fit the key stars because that has to be ready when they actually fly in to do their bit. All old furnishing fabric turned inside out and then we've just painted the main pattern so it gives it a sort of texture but the pattern is just overlaid on top, which will look fabulous on the stage. If any of you have never seen an opera, I think the Magic Flute is one of the first that you can go to. If you've never seen opera before, almost anyone in the world can hum the Queen of the Night tune. I think it's an ideal opera for young children to be introduced to see what goes into an opera with a magic man that comes on and he's got a bird's tail and he plays a flute and then magical animals appear and come to life. I mean, it, it's really a magical opera, great for children but also for grown-ups.